we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. The Bible says, because we're in the world, we will have tribulation. It is an unavoidable part of life on this earth. In the beginning, though, God's plan was that we be free from tribulation. The Garden of Eden was a place of perfect peace. God didn't put any tribulation on Adam and Eve. All they had to do was obey Him. Tribulation came through Satan in the form of temptation. When man fell, Satan became the god of this world. And now by simply being in the world, we experience tribulation. Man's failure to obey opened the door to a corrupted creation. One that we must fight against each day to survive. We're all in a wrestling match in this world, though we may not see it. We're struggling against something in a spiritual realm. To win maximum effort must be exerted in a wrestling match. Each opponent gives their all as they try to pin each other down. The devil is trying to pin us down to keep us from serving God by bringing tribulation against us. He is trying to keep us from serving God wholeheartedly by distracting us with the worries and cares of the world. Death, sickness, sin, these are temporary things, and in Christ we have victory over them. The Word tells us not only how to gain victory over problems, but also how to avoid them in the first place. A lot of tribulation will never come our way if we simply obey the word. If we don't lie, cheat or steal, we steer clear of the numerous problems. God's commandments are for our own good. Four. That's God. Have you ever been just sitting there and all of a sudden you feel like doing something nice for someone you care for? That's God. He talks to you through the Holy Spirit. Have you ever been down and out and nobody seems to be around you for you to talk to? That's God. He wants you to talk to Him. Have you ever been thinking about somebody that you haven't seen in a long time and the next thing you know you see them or receive a phone call from them that's God there is no such thing as coincidence have you ever received something wonderful that you didn't even ask for like money in the mail a debt that had mysteriously been cleared or a coupon to a department store where you had just seen something you wanted but couldn't afford that's God he knows the desires of your heart have you ever been in a situation and you had no clue how it is going to get better but now you look back on it that's God he passes us through tribulation to see a brighter day let us pray together my Lord Jesus Christ I realize that I am a sinner and believe that you sent your son Jesus Christ to die on the cross as a payment for my sins. I accept him as my Lord and Savior. Please forgive all my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Thank you, my dear God.